Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, March 31st, 2009. This morning I thought we'd look at the timer class in Object Studio. And what I've done is loaded this clock example from the sample browser. And let's just start this up and show you what that looks like. It's just a simple little clock that every 100 milliseconds ticks off in here. So we'll close that and browse this class and take a look at what's happening. So let's bring the browser into view. And you see we have this clock controller. And the main thing is over here in the open initialization, it sets up a timer. Timer gives it a name, a time, meaning a tick time. Every 100 milliseconds, something will happen. And then it says auto start false. If you set this to true, it'll just start up automatically. Then we set a block. And the block is what event should happen every time that tick goes off, every 100 milliseconds. And in this case, put the time now into that input field. And as long string just says, print the time out that way. That's the Object Studio code for that. So then it starts it by sending auto start to it. And that's how that fires up. Now, that gives you a basic example of how that works. Let's go ahead and browse class timer. Browse class named timer. And we want to get the one in Object Studio. So let's say OK on that. Now, if you come down here to this method, you'll get a little bit of documentation. And what this tells you is that you can use this kind of one of three ways. One, the way I've just used it. Give it an interval, and every so many milliseconds it'll fire off its event. You can give it a time of day to fire something off, or you can give it a timestamp if you want to give it an absolute time to fire something off. So let me show you those three examples. And to just show you that in the simplest way possible, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a transcript window, and then we're going to bring this workspace into view. And the first one is having something tick every 100 milliseconds. So we have a timer, give it 100 milliseconds, and then just tell it to drop time out to the transcript. So let's execute that. I'm going to inspect it so that I can go ahead and cancel it when I want to do that. So let's execute this with an inspect. And if you look over here in the transcript, you see it dropping stuff off. And let's cancel that. And to cancel it, you just send cancel to it, and that'll kill it. Actions execute, and that'll kill that. So that's how that works. Here's one we want to have go off every 20 seconds. So we're, we're going to do, or go off in 20 seconds rather. So we hand it a timestamp and tell the timestamp 20 seconds in the future, and then hand it a block saying it is time. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just do an execute on this one. No need to inspect it. We don't need to do anything with it. So we'll execute that. And now, if you were to wait 20 seconds, you'd see this print. I'm going to pause this since there's no reason for you to watch dead air that long. And there you can see it dropped it out. And then finally, what I can do is I can give it a specific time, a little less exacting than a timestamp, but I can say, OK, 100 sec 1,000 hundredth seconds or 10 seconds in the future, drop something out. Same kind of thing. I'm just telling it something a little, more a little less precise rather than a timestamp. So let's execute that. And then 10 seconds from now, we should see something drop into the transcript down here. And that's really the three ways you can use class timer in Object Studio. You can either have it tick off on a regular basis, you can have it tick off at an exact time, or you can have it tick off at a specific time. And you notice it kicked off more than once, and that's because that is a less precise implement in terms of microseconds to milliseconds, so it's going to go off as long as that time is valid for all of those milliseconds that it's valid. So you see three different ways of using the timer. And it depends on what kind of precision you want, and it depends on when you want the events to fire, whether you want them to fire once at a specific time or ongoing over and over and over until you turn the timer off. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.